That's all. But um, they did blood work. They did an EKG. EKG. The heart stuff came back real good. So um, they just you know keep. I told them I just had surgery and stuff. So they want to make sure that they. I think that they keep me for. I looked up how much it costs for a dang hospital. Dang, ten thousand a night. I said y'all ain't trying to get my money. <laughs> I could have went home and just came back or something. They was like, no, we just want to keep an eye on you and make sure everything's good. They won't let me get no juice or nothing. They won't let me get no juice. She said I can't eat anything. So I'm just chilling. Yeah, they tell me they won't get the blood work till tomorrow. I said, Lord, they ain't trying to keep me for my day money. Hey, brother, because they asked me to have insurance. I said, no, I'm paying out my pockets. My sister said, oh, you done messed up telling them that. They can keep you, and that's just what they did. Jackie said the same thing. They going to probably keep you. You go out to tell them that. But I told her, I should act. I ain't got no insurance. So I got to tell them the truth. I'm going to have to pay for it. But I came to get checked out, so I, they going to have to let me out here tomorrow. Cause I'm not gonna be here for no two, three, nine. Y'all ain't gonna, not gonna be paying y'all no twenty, thirty thousand dollars for this. I ain't got this. I see if I had a jacuzzi in the pool and all that there, then I wouldn't mind. Yeah, I'm eating some ice. That's all. They gave me a little bucket thing with all my stuff in it. Mm. That's all right now. And then, um, yeah, I'm giving me some rest. I really want to go home. I got food in the car, y'all. Jackie had just cooked, fixed me some these. She's like, you need to go to the hospital. Are you feeling? I said, I'm feeling drained. Like, I just feel tired. You know, I ain't take my iron medicine this morning. But, um, I'm just saying I've been feeling drained. Like, especially, you know, just tired. I ain't really been moving around doing too much, you know. I told her, I said, I've been being a mama, honey, trying to just take care of business. I haven't really been able to sit down on my behind and relax like I want to, you know. Because I'm always trying to do and take care of, make sure the kid's straight. And just, I got to start just focusing on me after this, you know, once they good and I get them out of the way with everything. I ain't got to stress about it. What they need. Yeah. So they keep my behind, man. I was like, Lord. But, you know, it's better to, you know, get yourself checked out anyway. So on the safe side. Um, I was feeling nausea. They checked me for COVID. They checked. They did. They put a lot of blood for me. And I told them I just had um, surgery. So they checking to make sure I don't have any bacteria inside of me and stuff like that. Um, they doing everything. They was like, you know, they just making sure. Since I just had a surgery. And um, they look, you know, the incision looked great on my tummy tuck. But they still want to be cautious. Because y'all know I just took them drains out. And um felt like I got a little fluid in me, they said. So. They checking all that out too, to make sure I don't have any bacteria, no, no sarcoma, whatever y'all call that joint. They said if I do, they'll just drink. They'll take the fluid out with a needle. I'm like, Lord Jesus. So, I, you know, I told them I felt a little pain. They gave me some pain medicine. And they just, they got me on all kind of stuff. Got me going. I, I'm talking about they took so much blood from my arm. I mean, y'all should get all the blood they took from my arm. They took a lot of blood from my arm. Just to make sure, like, I ain't got no issue. But my heart is good. And they did a CAT scan on me and stuff like that. You know, just to check me out. So I'm waiting for the results for the CAT scan. Um, You know. But I had, I told them I did. I've been, I've been, I said, I haven't really sat down. You know, since I got the surgery, my doctor was like, you should be okay. He was like, I called him and stuff. 
So, yeah, but y'all know I'm, I'm just, I was like, look, let me go get myself checked ahead of time before anything happened or something like that. You know, I don't want to be out here because I don't feel like nothing's wrong, but I felt like tired and drained. And I was like, let me go get, and then I've been farting all damn day. About to fart now. And so, yeah, just prayers, prayers, prayers. So I came to my grandma. Everybody was like, go get, so go to the hospital, Latrice, and just let them people check you out. Pray everything, come back negative, get some rest, have a restful night. Yeah, I said, let me come tell y'all what's going on, because hopefully tomorrow I hear good news. If I, you know, even if I don't, you know what I'm saying? At least I'm here to, you know, get everything taken care of to make sure I'm good. Yeah, I talked to Ronda Live earlier, but I've been tired. I'm tired. I be out there. I be moving around. I'm doing a lot of stuff. So, um, Jackie got all the kids for me. And uh, I took my cousin going to come get ready for me tomorrow. I mean, tonight she said she'll come get ready. I don't know. She probably went and got her by now, so. Because I've been texting everything. Because I've been at Jack House all day. She done massaged me and helped me out and stuff, rubbing me. And then, um, shoot, y'all know, just, I've been over there all day. She had to cook. And then I took the food with me. And you know, my food in the car. So I'm mad. I ain't get to eat my food. I'm trying to get the nurse to go down there and get my food. She said, you can't eat anything. I've been farting like a mom, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. I've been letting it out. I gotta get it up out of here. I ain't for to even play with them, honey. I've been farting my behind off like crazy. But yeah, I do think I got a little fluid in me from me. Um, I don't know yet, though. They did. I might have a little fluid. So we checking everything. Shoot. I'm just, I'm like, look. I don't give a damn what you got to do. You got to take a needle if it is any fluid in me, anything, because the swelling in me. So I still been swollen, but I just go on the beach. I want to check everything. You are going to be just fine. Yeah, I mean, every, I feel all right. just was nausea and feeling my blood pressure like 147 over 91, they said. And then it's my iron, you know, so. She made some baked chicken with some collard greens and macaroni and cheese. I'm sorry, y'all. I had to pass that. I'm getting well, baby. Annabella, don't come do with me like that, Diana Annabella, Diana. Baby, I feel so much better letting that up out of me, honey. I think I was backed up with gas or something. Honey, I'm full of gas. Yeah, I'm full of gas. What up, Erica, Linda Johnson, y'all? I am full of gas. Get some rest. You can have a setback just like honey, baby, after having surgery. Yeah, that's what they were saying. I told them I haven't rest at all. I said, I've been busy. I said, I have to make sure my kids straight. The river just relax. You go fine, friend. You got a lot of stuff accomplished. So now I take care of you. Your health is the most important. Right now, this is a minor bump in the road of recovery. Amen. Thank you, friend. Love you. See you tomorrow. She might be out here with me tomorrow. She was on the way tonight. They told me, you, she, you can't have any visitors after eight. I'm like, huh? I mean, what, after nine? She went to my son. Man, I was on my way. So... I'll be here to wait for your friend in the morning. Yeah, my yeah, I was just tired. But I think they want my money. Because I don't know. And keeping me overnight, that's a lot of money. Hey sis, don't be scaring us like that. Yes, yeah, sis, I'm in I'm in the hospital. I'm in I'm in Manatee County. I ain't gonna say which hospital. I told them don't give my name. I already let them know if people call. I'm not here. I'm known, and people will probably call y'all. So they already put out in the system that I'm not here. I say I would talk to everybody on my cell phones. 
<laughs> so I thought a dog came well. My blood pressure was 245. Oh, Lord, Sherry. You supposed to have been at the hospital in the bed, too. But for me. D. Brown. What D. Brown said? I love you, too. See you tomorrow. I love you, Kimberly Johnson. Kashima Williams. Oh, Kim. Shima, you know you're a moderator, so you can block people if they said something they ain't got no business. Oh, you ain't got no reason to block them. These are, these are our sisters on here. These are all the people that love us, love me and stuff. The nurse said, no problem, no calls. <laughs> Felt the one through the phone, friend. Oh, I hope you feel better soon. Trace, take care and get some rest. Oh, I'm going to try to get some rest. I was I had to, I was so worried about my cousin making sure she get rented. Cause I want she I post been dropping off to school, so my cousin say she got her she'll be able to do it for me. She'll have for the rest of cause I, we had I told her she I, I'll be flying I ain't gonna say the day I was gonna be leaving but I was gonna be leaving, and then she was gonna take over so. So now she gotta take over quicker than sooner now. You know what you two says, better out did it hell yeah, man that doctor came from there with the. Pushing on my stomach, I was like, and I said, "Ooh, what was that? Was a frog?" He told me he gonna start laughing. Is that a frog? I met the lady. I'm talking about him. The lady, she just bust out laughing. I said, "Is that a frog in here?" I said, "Lord, what is?" She told me. She said, "You, <laughs> yes, baby." I said, "I'm gonna let these farts out. I appreciate you." I appreciate you. Yeah, I'm at the hospital, huh? Pray for me. Keep me in your prayers. Yeah, that old night said something to see mine with 30,000 plus the ED feet. Laugh and laugh. Yeah, they try to get you, man. I'm mean, going to say, Lord Jesus, y'all. I say, good thing y'all do payment plans. Because, baby, I am not going to pay that whole thing. <laughs> Y'all gonna get it broken down. Might get three, four thousand here, five thousand here. You know, but we gonna break that down now. Y'all now don't come bother me now. This ain't no hotel. Yeah, I gotta get some rest, baby. I, I gotta get some rest. So my goal is to lay on down and rest until my birthday. So I can be ready for my birthday. So once they get done, let me know everything. And um I'm going to go ahead and um, get me some rest and take me a good, you know, I'm going to still better go live. I just be in bed, on bed rest, because I do need to sit my behind down, y'all. I've been doing too much. Um, um, my camera going on. My little sister just texted me. She heard I was in the hospital. Get your rest, your health is precious. Yeah, yeah, amen. I'm definitely going to be resting and um, laying down. You know, I've been, I don't get no sleep because I'm, I get up and I can't go back to sleep, you know. I get up and just can't sleep. And some been biting me, y'all. I don't know if that's what got me feeling like this. But whatever was at that condo, it attacked me. Like I got um, red marks on me. It ain't bed bugs, I don't think so. But I don't know if it was ants. Oh, you know what? It probably was those little flying ants that I seen in there. They been. I got marks. I got marks everywhere on my body. I forgot all about them little ants, cause I was feeling like it was some under the cover. And I'm telling you. <laughs> and um, I'm telling y'all, some bit man. Yeah, my blood pressure is like 147 over 91. She said, so y'all know I'm play by my health. I go get checked out. I don't care. I was kind of like not wanting to come, but then I just said, damn that, I'm going. And I talked to trans too. She was like, go ahead and go to the hospital, sis. A lot of people were like, go ahead and go to the hospital, sis. You don't need to do this and you don't need to do that. I ain't want to go to the hospital in Atlanta. Because I was going home tomorrow, to be honest with y'all. I was going home tomorrow. And they was like, you don't need to be flying on no plane. And the people have to pop land, emergency land. Because you ain't feeling good. And you get up there and they get worse. 
And they scan me and stuff. So I'm like, man, let me go to the hospital. Because y'all up here, you know what I'm saying, my iron be low. Y'all up here scared me. So my trans was in my ear. My grandma was in my ear. Jackie with her mom was in my ear. And uh, my cousin, she um, ain't my know until I got here. And then Shima and my massage lady was like, go, you know, they was all in my ear. Just go get checked. Go get checked. Make sure everything good. You know, so I'm like, Lord Jesus. I said, I don't feel that bad. But I was scared. So that's what made me say, let me go get my body checked. So, yeah, and then I was eating. I need to watch what I'm eating, and I did have a couple of little drinks, y'all. So I said, maybe. I said, oh, I ain't drinking no damn more. Thank you. Renny doing great. I was about to bring her with me, and I'm glad I didn't because now I would have had to have somebody come get her. So I'm glad I left her with Jackie. Cause um Thank you, Kim Kim Yana. It's stressful. Oh Lord, just being a single mom and trying to do everything on your own. You know, I got a support system when I really need them, but I really be one I be needing help. But people, you know, I don't bother nobody and everybody have their own life and everybody got their own issues. You know, so I try to just do everything and stress myself out. And let my feet get swollen and let my, you know, ankles and body get swollen because I'm up here trying to do everything to do, make sure, you know, my kids straight and just trying to get my house in order. So, um, yeah, I know it ain't that end, baby. Low iron make you want to eat ice, yeah. It ain't no monkey paws, baby. This some I get these, but I don't get bitten like this before. Y'all got to stop taking everything monkey paws. Every time y'all look around, y'all love to try to speak that on people because monkey paws is not the only thing out here. Believe me, monkey paws ain't damn well. Ain't no, ain't going to be biting you like that and leaving no red marks long as a whelp like you get like mosquito bites or something. When you get the hospital, still keep a check on your blood pressure. Yeah, that's what they were saying. On, you get on that plane and you get up there that high. It could change stuff, and you don't want that to happen. So, I'm just doing whatever's best for me, you know. But, um, yeah, I'll come help you if you want me to. Nah, baby, I'm good. I don't, I don't want to bring no strangers around that I really don't know. I'm just, I just have, that's why I just have to deal with me helping myself and and doing it myself with the help from, you know, if not, if anything, because... I'm not bringing no strangers around me. People that I don't know and I, I haven't known for years. I need to know people for years. Uh, uh, just one person that I only know about a year is the only person that can really come around me and that's trans. Because I, you know, feel like I've known them forever. But uh, uh, I know Kimmy and Kimmy now will come help me. And uh, My mama works, so I can't depend on her, y'all. But she'll be at my house. She's going to be in Atlanta at my house. But I'll be down here still because I don't know when I'm going back. But whatever beat me up, the doc I let the RN look at it. She said it looked like um, ants bit me. Then that's when I thought about the ants. I forgot all about the ants at that lady at the Airbnb. Yeah. Denise, man. Kara. Get well soon. Yeah, thank you. Trees, take it slow, love, and get well. I'm I'm taking it slow, y'all. I'm taking it slow. I'm definitely taking it slow. Hope you feel better when you get out straight, try assisting you. Yeah, I got to lay my behind down. It's it's stressful, you know, just trying to make sure the kids enjoy life and just making sure they, you know, are happy, you know. And I've been drinking water. And I've been doing all that, you know, but just making sure my kids straight, getting them clean, they clothes. I've been walking, y'all. I haven't been still, y'all. Walking, walking, walking. You know, they say we walk, but I haven't been still at all. You know, I haven't set my behind down, and I need to. 
You know, I really need to take care of myself because I do too much, too much moving around. So I had to cancel the, the music videos because I, I have to practice dancing and stuff for that. I, like, I got to do a lot of stuff for that. And that's another thing that was stressing me, just thinking about that and trying to, like, you know, like, dang, we got to get this dancing together. We got to get this music video together. And I was like, I'm so ready to do it, but I don't want to rush everything. I want it to be perfect. So I just had to chase the reds and let him know I'm going to have to hold off on the music video. And I, you know, I tell you know, because I can't even, I got to get my, I got to get me. Hey, Janice King, thank you. I got to work out. I got to exercise. I got to get myself in shape so I would not be drinking. I haven't smoked, and I know if I can stop smoking, I can stop drinking. So I haven't been, you know, I drunk a little something, but I don't want to drink at all. Like, I just don't want to do nothing. I just want to eat healthy and leave all that alone so my body can, you know, be in good shape. And I won't have to worry about blood pressure and iron. I'm trying to get my iron right. The only thing with my iron is it got something to do with my, with my, with our, like the hormones and stuff. So. Yeah, these bugs is eating us alive. But yeah, I'm definitely going to be, I'm going to be, you know, I'm going to rest until it's time to go to Jamaica. So I'm going to be doing, you know, little stuff from behind the scene and, working and stuff, but I'm definitely going to be chilling and sit my behind down. I wanted to fly to Texas to be right, go up there with trends, but I really need to take like a good week in my bed, just, you know, with somebody there taking care of me. That's what I need to be doing. I literally need to have somebody there for me, helping me because it's too much. Yeah. Yeah, minor setback. I mean, you know, it ain't no major situation. You know, it ain't major what I'm going through. That's a blessing. It's definitely not major, you know. But I need to rest. Everybody know that. I've been up and moving, man. I know that. It's hard, though. It ain't easy for me, you know. It ain't easy for me to rest. Even when I had my babies, when I had C-sections, I was up two days later Two, three days later, like, I was out the hospital taking care of business, up and moving. People like, you going to have a setback? You going to do that? I'm like, man, listen, I got things to do. I can't sit down. If I, I don't have help, you know what I'm saying? I don't have people that's just going to jump into I'm almost damn near dead. Then I can probably, hey, I need you to go get the kids. I'm in the hospital. Like, I have help then. But when I need people while I'm out and about, People have their own life, you know what I'm saying? They got their own life even while I'm in the hospital. You know what I'm saying? So I'm definitely like I don't I had I've been moving all my life. I really never had a chance to rest. Really, you know what I'm saying? I've always been up and moving. Yeah, you right about that life of Nene and family. The body do need to heal. You gotta trust so much because I will help you. But why volunteer when you don't trust no one? Jacqueline Blanker, I can't. Listen, I mean, yeah, I'm older now, Sharita. I was older then, shit. I was in my late, my early 30s then when I had my last baby and I was up and moving. You need to sit down somewhere for at least a week. I got you. I can take off a week for you. Oh, look at them. Praying for you, sis. Thank you, Mike Taylor. Virgos, when we land down, we be thinking about stuff us ahead and what we need to be done. Hey, we got to stop that in because I swear we do. Like, we literally be planning and planning and be, like, just planning stuff as Virgos. And, and there's other people out there like that, too. But us Virgos is some serious when it comes down to business, man. We got to stop. Like, we don't, we, we need to sit down. We need to think about our health, my queens and kings, because we all are something alike. Like, we just can't be still. We, like, look, I got to do this. I got to get this done. I got this coming up. Girl, you need to lay down, girl. You just, girl, you just, listen. You just got in a bad accident, girl. Your leg about them to go, girl. You still, you know what I'm saying? We don't be kin. Girl, you just got them had a heart attack. Girl, you just had a stroke. Girl, you just had this. Why is you 
sit down. We do not play Virgos. Like, we literally, as soon as we, we rest and we back, we feel like we okay. We ready to get back up and do it again. Sit down. It's time to rest. Okay? I feel you on that tree because I am the same way. I deal with it myself. And sometimes I don't even let my sons know. How does Virgo know that you can't do nothing? You're right. Yes, we are at six Virgo. Virgo caregiver. I need a Virgo caregiver. Someone that just can't be still like me. They got the IV in me, though, but it's... They don't want to keep me. All right, Bill, do you just fine, man? I need some food. You know, I be in my bag, y'all. I just, I'm trying to, like, I'm making money moves. I'm trying to get stuff situated, and it's hard. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to do um so much, you know, and I'm definitely got to, I definitely got to, um, I definitely, Mama D Cook, I swear, it's like, we do not care. We've been on got shot, but as soon as they say you all right, you ready to get up and make some moves. I still got to do this like that, but I don't, you know, we got to sit down. We got to sit down. I don't like bothering people. And I have a whole family. Me too, because it's like, you don't want to be rejected. You, you know that, you know what? I need you, but I can't, I can't depend on you. So it's like, damn, I got to be damn near dead to get the love that, you know, people, you know, from people. But when you really, like, when you're up and moving, they look like you. Well, you can move. You know, it's, you got to be down in your deathbed or half handicapped for, you know, where you, you lay one leg in the house with a big one leg out for somebody to really care for you and want to help you. You know, yeah, we do need to stick together, Linda. Virgos are truly hardworking people and professionals. They won't stop. You no, know, you don't want to stop. You want to do this. You want to do that. Like, I was just saying, oh, I got to get some dance people together. So I can get this dancing together for my video. And I'm like, that's the, I got you know, I got people lined up to do the video shoot. So it's like trees. You is just ready. You know, sit down. Sit your behind down. Virgo's here and I agree. We are busy body. We don't have a pause button. And I need to put one on me. The IV, man. What you 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 don't believe me, babe? She told me, let us see the IV in your arm. You this is a whole hospital, baby. This ain't no skit. It's an IV in there. Because he had emergency surgery and wasn't supposed to do anything. He did anyway and tore something and had internal bleeding. But Torres said, I lost one of my brothers because he had major surgery and wasn't supposed to do anything. And he did anyway and tore something. Yeah, we got to sit down. That's why they did a CAT scan on me to, you know, to make sure I ain't did nothing to myself in the inside because I've been moving and I told them I've been moving around lifting stuff, you know, and I just let them know that, you know, I've been drinking. I just took the drains out. I kept it real with them because I want them to make sure I'm good. You know, I don't, you don't ever want to keep nothing from these people. Tell them the truth. You know, if you've been drinking, if you've been smoking, if you've been lifting, if you've been up and about, you know, because it, it ain't always got to be from the doctors. A lot of people you know, it, it be us. You know, a lot of times y'all get, we get work done by the doctors. Something happened. We want to thank the doctor. It ain't not their fault because we supposed to sit our behinds down. We have to help with this process as well. So we can cause stuff to happen that the doctor have no, no, to, nothing to do with. You know what I'm saying? It be us. So as, as when we get these surgeries, you, a lot of women have to get back to work and they have to make moves because they have to pay their bills. And it's not easy. So a lot of women get back to work a week or two. You can't, you need to really, when you get this surgery, you need to sit down up to three, four months, maybe six. You, If you're doing a job that's lifting and stuff like that. Now, if you're doing a job that's sitting down on your behind, you good to go. But if you a mother or someone that's a wife and, you know, so your husband going to have to take responsibility. Because other than that, this is serious. Like you really supposed to sit your behind down and relax and put your feet up and just let your body heal. But we don't, as a, I mean, this a lot of, it's not easy to do when you have to get out there and you gotta pay your bills and you gotta take care of home and make sure your kids straight. So no matter what type of surgery you get, you can have a, have a baby. If you're a mother that's doing it by yourself, you gotta, it's people come home from the hospital and they get straight to work. You know what I'm saying? You know, so it's like your voice sounds faint, get you some rest 
Yeah, I know I do need to get some rest because I've been, I am tired. I'm very much tired. But, um, yeah. You call the king. You call the king. Call Mojo. Major issue. I'm praying for you. If you're in the Pensacola area and need anything, let me know. I'm in I'm in Sarasota, Florida, Bradenton, Florida area, babe. I mean, I'm like the closest cities you could be to me. Uh, you know. Yeah, you be careful, Therese, for a speedy recovery. Amen. Yeah. But I love you all. And I wanted to check in with you to let you know I'm in here. So I'm going to see what they talk about tomorrow. And, uh, and I'll keep y'all posted um, on what's going on. You know, baby, it ain't even social media. I know a lot of people like you to might take a break from social media. I have to take a break from walking. I have to take a break from getting up, moving around. That's what my main break is. You know what I'm saying? Because coming on here, just talking to people and making and laying in my bed, I can still do that. Just sitting here laying in the bed, that's not going to stress me out. The only thing that stresses me out is getting up and have to make moves and have to make sure this straight, that straight, lifting stuff and no help. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of stuff that I'm doing that, that that's not on the camera that y'all don't see that's causing me to stress and go through things because it's my business and I don't have to tell y'all. But I don't have to take a break from Facebook because this is what I make my money from. So when you say that, you make me feel like maybe you one of my haters that just want me to get off here anyways. I took a whole seven days away from it. You know what I'm saying? Regardless, I still have to move around and do stuff. And that's what's putting a toll on my body is getting up and moving around. Okay? So, you know, this right here is like a job when you can get, you can come from surgery two days later and be right back on here and be all right. You know, just as long as you ain't yelling and screaming, you want to keep away from that. But if you're on here just calm, cool, and collective, it's okay to be on here. Okay, that's just like if you work for a call center and you coming home from nurse, from um, surgery, you can get on that phone and do your thing. Okay, and handle the business. As long as you're not moving, this is not causing me to lift lift things. I don't have to lift, lift 50 pounds or higher or 25 pounds or pounds or more. So this is my money. So you're not going to I'm definitely not going to just take a break from social media. You take a break from it. You stop being in the audience. Y'all got to stop being in the audience, being messy and being a part of the drama and just sit on back or whatever. That's all I can tell you. But other than that, it ain't this social media ain't got nothing to do with my body, me healing. It's me on it when I'm not on the social media, when y'all can't see what I got going on. Believe me, I'm doing a lot behind the scene that y'all don't know nothing about. And when I tell you y'all don't know nothing about it, y'all don't. So that's what it is. My friends know, Shima know, my grandmother them know, Shakina them know, Tiki them know what's going on behind these cameras when this I mean when when the camera's not rolling. So they know, Tree, sit down and relax your mind. And they not gonna tell me to get off Facebook because they know that it ain't Facebook. They know what's really going on behind the scenes. So um, yeah, that's all I could tell y'all, you know. And all that down. And that and that. All is well, queen. Just get some rest. You better know it. Wanda Goodman, what's good? Lady Ace 44. Sure, I'm taking a break on Facebook. Ginger see all is well. Um, Avis White. Fred going up as we are speaking. I see Cheryl Jackson, Denise. Thank you, Wanda Goodman. Lori at um, Mentoria, Amel Matt. My Amel Matt, where you been? And, um, Ginger C, what's good, Queen? Um, QT Patrish, what's good, sis? Jacqueline Jones. Um, Erica Buck, okay, I see. Feridia, Lori at, what's good, Queen? Trees God has a way of worship you to rest. I think it's time for you to trust him and rest as your body needs. And God will provide and keep things going for you. Amen. Amen. Virgo, the true love, are working people are professionals. Yes. You need to look me up. All I have to need is more. Eat it fast and you will see I'm good. That's my response. I'm just a giving. Have a person remember I asked you to do my open, grand opening. Oh, Jacqueline Blanchard, no, baby. 
I don't remember. You got to send me your information. Email it to me so I can check you out anyways, you know what I'm saying? But you know, I'm all the way in another state. I got, you know, you got a, a Jacqueline, you got your own life too now. You got bills, you got things you got to do. So you're not going to just be able to put a hold on your life to come help me. Patrice McCullough owns you no booth. And I don't want you to take, I don't want you to stop your life for me. You know, you still got to pay your bills and I'm not going to want you to do nothing for free. Chocolate City Girl, what's good? Kimberly, I see India Scott, D. Brown, Tamika McCann, Jennifer Hofstetter, Kara Anna, what's good, boo boo? Um, okay, Wilma Laddam, I see y'all on here, what's good? Um, Solo, Solo, Scorpio Beauty, Diva the Boss, Let's Talk TV. What's good, Queen? Um, for really, uh, I'm trying to make sure I call all y'all names over here. There's so many um, messages that I'm trying to make. Linda Johnson, Dina Yassane. What's good? Diva the boss. Okay, feel better soon. Thank you, boo. I'm going up and down. I'm coming over here, Facebook, but I got to check in uh, with my sisters and over here. My Isha Reed. What's up, sister girl? Uh, Sharonda Red, Sharonda don't play, she be everywhere with it. Come through, Rita Williams, Miss Jackson, Miss Jackie Johnson. How you doing, y'all, ladies, sweet ladies? Burning that Baker, what's good, sweetie? I love y'all. With Rita Williams, what's good, ma'am? My queen, Miss Rita, what's happening? Um, yeah, I'm trying to, D Dina, that's saying I said your name, doesn't it? Just trying to make sure I get all y'all names. I don't want to feel like I left in there, y'all. So it ain't that many of y'all, is it? Hey, Facebook, I love y'all, too. Okay, you want to let me go all the way down deep brown. Hey, yeah. Hey, pretty woman. Hey, sugar. Praying for healing and strength. Get well soon. Send the prayers your way. The big boss need rest, too. Amen. Look, 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 Lucretia Allen. Bad, they took so much blood from this thing. It don't make no sense. I just hate when it be bitten and hurting a little bit. Love y'all, love y'all. Pretty woman walking down the street. Lucretia Allen. Get some rest, everyone. The best family. Hey, boo. Swag found. What's good? Your heart is beautiful, so please take care so you can bounce back two times strong. Oh, yeah, I mean, I'm already, I feel all right. You know, that's one thing about me. I feel all right. I don't, I just feel tired and nausea, but I feel like that plenty of times before in life. So it just, it ain't really done on me. Like, okay, but they checked my blood. They doing all that. And then they did a CAT scan. So the doctor is gone and won't be back in the morning to read me because I got here a little late. So I'm waiting for the doctor. I guess they trying to, they plan when we keep overnight. We'll tell about it in the morning. So hopefully they tell me some good news, but they keeping me. So I guess they said they just want to make sure. Every, they was like, since they couldn't send me back to my their case, it was something with my surgery. They, they didn't want to send me all the way back to Illinois. So they're going to check me out and the surgeon's going to come in and check my, um you know, my, my area and everything. And, they just trying to be safe, and I was like, okay, that's a good thing, but my doctor said, I called him and let him know I was in the hospital. He was like, why? I was like, I'm just, you know, I don't know if I got a little fluid in here, you know, something going on. I'm kind of nervous and scared, you know, but he was like, your stomach look good. I said, yeah, but I've been drinking. I had a couple of drinks, so he was like, but yeah, that's been, you've been about over a month now, so you should, you know, you, and I was like, yeah, but still, and I'm just tired, and I feel so tired, and I haven't really sat down, baby, since I got done with surgery, and I've been up and about just doing me. And he was like, oh, you know, yeah, just get everything checked out and let him know. So they was like, we're going to check you out and you make sure everything's good, but instead of just sending you back to your surgery, you know, all the way back to Illinois. So I don't know if they just want my money, y'all. I think they just want that money. Come on, they keeping me for nothing. 
I ain't staying for two nights. I ain't paying y'all twenty thirty thousand. Y'all ain't getting that goddamn much money off me. God damn it now. I'm finna apply for I need some Medicaid. Any one of y'all let me get y'all Medicaid. Let me get y'all insurance. Can I use y'all name? Oh Lord. They trying to get my money. I rest already give me. Y'all gonna give me two? Damn, man. What are they trying to do, y'all? They trying to make me go broke. Is they working together? Did somebody tell them something about me? Why they want my money? Why they gonna keep me here? They ain't never wanna keep me in the past overnight when I felt like I had nausea and stuff. Now all of a sudden they wanna keep me when I told them I'm paying for it out of my pocket. When you got Medicaid, they send your ass home though. Why they ain't send my ass home? See, they just trying to keep me for my money. That's all it is. They just, everybody just love money. I'm sick of this everywhere I go. It's all about a damn dollar. You know what I'm saying? All this time, y'all just, oh Lord, I'm about to get out. I'm about to get up and go, y'all. I'm about to leave. And I ain't going on to my doctor where I pay that 22K and let him check me out and see what he can tell me. Because, God damn it, if y'all go, why y'all just, just let me fly back up there and save me $20,000 or 10 Because this is here. I don't want to stay here. And then and, and, and nothing ain't wrong. And I got to pay y'all this ten twenty thousand dollars $20,000. And y'all can't figure out what's wrong. So my eyes are failed. There they go. Hold on, baby. I'm going to do some losses here, okay? I'm going to start the antibiotics. Okay. Yes, ma'am. She's starting the antibiotics on me, y'all. So everything, I hope she say, you just doing that in case I have something wrong, ma'am? Uh, I say you doing that in case something's wrong because y'all haven't got anything no, I back. Don't, no, I don't have anything. So y'all don't know if I got anything, just to make no, sure. Yeah. But okay. usually when they, like, some inflammation erupts, we start to do the antibiotic, just prevent the infection. Okay, yeah. just in case, any of that. Okay, well, do what you got to do, honey. You do what you gotta do. I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn. I need y'all to check it out. And let me know what's going on. <sighs> yeah, I got, we got all that. Yeah, she finna put me some antibiotics. You gonna put it through the IV? Through the IV line, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, yeah, they taking good care of me, though, yeah. It's a blessing. They making sure I'm good in case something is wrong. It'll be already getting taken care of, y'all. But my side hurt laying like this on the bed. Damn. It's yes. like a mess I need to put on. Do y'all have a, um, do y'all have the things you put on when you, do y'all have a um, binder? Um, I can no, put on. I can give you a pillow. Maybe you can just blend this pillow. Yeah, something okay. like that, yeah, because this is hurting me in this bed like this. Yeah. I can't get nothing to eat, y'all, until they tell. <laughs> make sure nothing ain't wrong with me. Dang. And I'm so uncomfortable right now. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna try to get up, y'all. Uh, I said, I can't take this right here. It's uncomfortable, but it's bad. Yeah. I need to get it's not very comfortable. Yeah, it's not. Oh. Yeah, it's not comfortable. Uh. All right, Miss Devil. That, oh, that's inside the IV? Mm -hmm. It's gonna run over one hour. Okay. And then I'm gonna give it a second bath of this. And okay. then it's gonna be just a fluid, just a normal saline.
They don't can you do they have any napkins in here? I go dry my hands off with? Yeah, sure. There's tissues here, they need them on. Is that for me to dry my hands off with? Yeah. They need them maybe there's a there's no towels, no napkins in there. I'll give you some towels, okay? Okay, that'd be great. And there's tissue. He said if my feet were swelling, make sure I tell the doctor that they ain't been swelling since I um my feet. You see them? They but they be swollen in the back. Oh. See, is it doing this? Where they come from? Just maybe you just spend a lot of time. Yeah, I've been doing too much. Mm -hmm. I need to sit my behind down. It's not that bad. See how some bit me right there? What you yeah, think? Yeah, I think it looks, for me, like I said, it looks like um, the ants. It like was the flying ants that was in the hotel. Flying? The flying ants, they were at the coat condo I was at. Oh. It was a bunch of them. Oh, well, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. It's scratchy. Something is itchy. itchy. Yeah, it's itchy. Do you want some lotion, maybe? So, I'm proud of, I don't know, Benadryl will help that? Uh, we do have a Benadryl, but I'm going to give uh, you just a lotion. Maybe it's okay. something like my um, I'm not going to say, like, your feet is very swollen. Maybe just a little. Not too much. Okay. Yeah. I have to keep peeing, y'all. I, I can't get no rest because I done been getting up peeing every hour from this all this liquid in me. I done peed every dang hour and peeing, peeing, peeing. And I'm not no hard sleeper, so I always get up to pee. Do you mind if you put your arm for some Yeah, you can put it over there. I'm just a man. I can't even eat anything, y'all. So they found out what's going on. I know I stay on the go. They charge me for everything they doing. They charge me for everything. Um, the Medicaid, I don't have Medicaid, y'all. I don't have all, none of that right now. They got me on, they had me on the wrong type of Medicaid in Georgia. And that, and that was, um, the kind they had me on was for, like if you had, I don't know what, but I was paying $300 a month. Hey, J. Hey, OMG Chelsea. So, I'm just, you know, they, she's doing my, the IV. Oh, you took the IV out, huh? No, it's not that I didn't take it. It's just um, the tube. Yeah. I didn't need the tube anymore. I'll do it when we do it. Yeah, they make, I'm peeing, I'm just peeing, 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 yeah, peeing. Yeah, because you have a lot of fluid. Yeah. And it's going to be the whole night. So the flu is from that, not the flu is inside my body already. Yeah. Because you are not eating anything right now, you do not, like, your status, like, you cannot eat or drink something else, but at the same time, you want to be dehydrated, so yeah. that's why we just put the lots of flu. Okay. Yeah. Yes, ma'am, Yolanda. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I got my own shower and everything in here. Yeah, Medicaid, I mean, that'll cover some stuff, but not everything. Swag found, believe me, I know. She said, yeah, I don't check my fibroids. You gotta clean it off. Where are you from? From Russia, originally. Russia? Yeah, they. I heard they traded the girl. You know, they took the girl that, that went to jail for
for the, the NBA player? Uh, usually I'm not the news. <laughs> You're not in the news? Yeah, they're letting her come back, and they're gonna. I guess they're going to give them someone uh-huh. that's in jail from Russia uh-huh. here. Uh-huh. They're going to give them to them, and they're going to let her come back. Uh-huh. I think that's how they're doing it. I didn't have the time to just... You like it here, though? You don't want to ever go back there? I hear it's about 20 years right now, so that's kind of part yeah. of my home right yeah, now. Yeah, I would love to stay yeah. here. It's too much going on. Um, yeah. I love. I mean, I just. I want. I wish we can go everywhere and be free. Yeah. You know, without yeah. the evil stuff. But yeah. I love We just gotta pray. I'm going to Jamaica though for my birthday, so hopefully I have have a good time when over there. Thursday? September seventh. Oh, it's close. Yeah. I'm, party? I'm gonna hang. I'm gonna have a good time. I'm gonna yeah. shake a leg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just gonna hang out. I'm just gonna have fun. I'm not gonna do too much partying because of this. I still I gotta heal, so that'll be only two months in. Uh-huh. So I'm just gonna, um, you know, just really like just go out and you know uh-huh. during the daytime and have some fun, a little fun, but try to still be cautious of what I do. Cause it takes, it could go up to a year before. This can get swelling can still swell up to a year. Mm-hmm. So it's just this. This is a serious, a major sur- mm-hmm. surgery. So mm-hmm. um, I'm gonna I'm gonna do my best to not get loose in Jamaica. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. I'll be back in one hour. Okay. And yes, ma'am. Be back. And meantime, if you need something, please call me, okay? Yes, ma'am. I'm going to give you a lotion. You'll try it. Maybe if your pulse is your itchy stuff. Yeah, I need something and, for this yeah. itching. And also, I'm going to give you a towel, okay? Okay, thank you. Mm-hmm. Love you, Jack LeBaintra. Just write me, email me. Okay. Uh, thank you, Jack. So I just said uh, to the IV, so if you're going to feel some kind of um, discomfort or burning, please let me know, okay? Okay. Should I put... Okay, no, that's... you're okay. fine right now, yeah. And just in case if you want to feel something like pain, discomfort, burning, things like that. I'd let like you know. know. Okay. You're going to bring the lotion for yes. my leg because they're yep. itching bad. Yeah, yeah, sure. I know, Sharon, I've been doing too much. I've been doing too much, but I've been doing what I have to do. That's the thing about it. You know, I've been doing what I have to do and enjoying my life at the same time. Because um, you only live once, you know. You only live once. So i just been really enjoying myself. You good, you're very alert, that good baby girl. You have me in tears. Oh, thank y'all. Thank y'all. Trent's gonna be going to Jamaica with me. So she says she's going. Oh, happy birthday to you as well, September seventh, girl. I see you. I see you say that's your birthday too. Thank you. Thank you, Kanisha Taylor. I appreciate that queen. I'm trying to take care, honey. You know, this is this is just a sign of being a mother and being a businesswoman, honey. You and just being who you are. I'm out today, but I still watch you and you keep me positive. Thank you, Belinda Mackey. Yeah, I heard um you know, people this is what I wanted to say about the situation. Um, when it come down to my kids, if you say any, like people got to understand when anybody say anything mean about my children, I'm going to come back hard. I don't, you know, if you, you know, if you, or even if you come for me, period, like don't come for me trying to make me look bad or say anything mean. Cause yes, I'm going to get, I'm going to say some very mean things out of hurt. You know what I'm saying? I'm definitely going to go there. Um, I know people were saying that, um, chef apologize or whatever you know um and things like that you know but um what i was gonna say is that you know people like oh trees trees you know trees is only gonna say so much you know when if it, it didn't start i didn't start it chef didn't start it maybe somewhere you, somewhere you 
It was started by someone else. Okay. Someone else started it by going and repeating that to the world. And people go to chef telling her, Therese was talking about you and such and such said it, you know, and that's where I, you know, so it, it one thing about me, if I'm your friend, LaCora, and you're hanging at my house, whatever we talk about, if I'm friends with Diane, Jean, and LaCora, and I feel that Jean is something about Jean that I don't like, and I tell um, Diane, Women, Diane fall out. Diane is not supposed to go tell her that. If you're not going to tell her what I said right then and there, you shouldn't wait till we fall out to tell it. And that's what people go wrong at. Everybody, when you fall out, you have to question those people too. Well, you were comfortable enough to let allow it to be me to, her to say it then. Why didn't you tell me? We have to stop. Um, we have to stop. Allowing people to tell us stuff when they fall out with people. Tell me when they say it while you're cool with them. That let me know that you care about me. But don't wait till you fall out because you was comfortable enough to listen to it. And and, and, and I'm not going to just dog people out and just, oh, somebody stank and they're nasty. Or I'm going to put the police on them. That's the type of stuff you call dog out. If Tracy hurt my feelings in some way, I'm going to tell, I'm going to feel like I could tell trends what Tracy did to me or past C. Jefferson. I'm going to tell you, I don't like this about this, and this is crazy. When Pastor need me, I'm there. Like, we vent to people. And I tell a lot of people, what stays, goes on in my house stays in my house. I, It's certain things you should tell, and that's if someone is really dogging someone out. If someone is just telling you stuff about, I don't like this because, but when you get angry and y'all get so mad, y'all do some foul mess that is not, you know, just to try to bring other people in it. It's childish. It's some stuff that... You know, and I don't like to do that until you keep digging at me and bothering me and trying to act like, you know, and, and going deep. Then, yes, now, OK, now I'm going to tell what you said because I leave it alone. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I just want people to understand. Stop trying to make it look like trees just came out and started something. I leave stuff where it's at when it happens. I just don't like when people talk about my kids because when you talk about my kids and you're saying things about my babies, I'm going to come at you in any any way like i don't care i'm gonna say some very mean things even if i don't mean them even if it's just i want you to hurt how you hurt me when you hurt my feelings when y'all say stuff about my kids and you hurt my feelings especially someone that i feel i thought was my friend i'm gonna come hard as i could to attack you because don't play with me but only if you come on here and just say some minor little things i'm not gonna get deep if you say you know you know, our trees might need some help, and that's just her. If she feel that way, you know, it is what it is. I'm not going to get deep and just straight dog you, you know. But when you, my kids, it's like you you really hitting below the belt, and it's like y'all asking for it. You know what I'm saying? Y'all asking for it. Like, and, you know, I don't like to do it. You know what I'm saying? If that's the case, I tell people I made 4000 and some dollars off of that one day just arguing and going back and forth doing all that petty stuff. If I was so big on making, on, on, on doing it for money, I would do this every day. I don't have to, I don't like doing it and I don't want to do it. You know what I'm saying? I just want people to, I want to be, at, I want to be at peace in my life and I want to allow others to be at peace in theirs and live your life. I'm not jealous of nobody's life. I want everybody to be happy because I have to go just as well as they have to go. And yeah, like people say, oh, you know, you know, that's why I'm backing up. You ain't my friend. You ain't my, my, I'm staying out your face. I'm not defending you. I'm staying away from it. If people come to me, ooh, girl, such and such ain't right. I don't, I'm not even, I'm not going to defend that person. Because one thing about it, your loyalty ain't with me. Ain't no need for me to keep my, to have, be loyal to you. No way, no how, no shape, no form. I shouldn't be defending nobody. If, okay, that's how you feel about that person. It is what it is, baby. We'll pray for them and go on with my life. Other than that, I'm not... You know, my only friends and my only loyalty is with Tiki, Shakina, Trans, um, Shima, Kimberly, Kimberly, and the ones, anybody that's loyal to me, that feel their loyalty is with me, then yes, my loyalty is with you as well. Other than that, those are the main ones that have been in my presence. And um, even Tiffany, for instance, I'm going to use Tiffany because we talk on the phone about a lot of things. And me and Tiffany have fell out before. And Tiffany never went back and said the things I've told her. So I can trust Tiffany because I have literally told Tiffany some stuff about other people. You know what I'm saying? That was, you know, things how I felt. And Tiffany and me fell out, literally. And I even said something 
to make her mad and hurt her feelings. And she did not go back and tell these people what I said. That right there let me know. She's from New York. That's my girl. She's been a fan of mine since 2014, 15. Um or whatever it was about the game that we was having and that let me know right that tiffany is 100 she's loyal because she could have went and told you know what i'm saying oh yeah tree she said this about you such and such she didn't do that you know what i'm saying and that's why you know what i'm saying i you know i said what i said because she went in deep about me and she you know it was some things said that um uh, was was wrong you know what i'm saying that hurt my feelings real bad to where, you know, like saying that I put a hit out on somebody, that was wrong and stuff like that. I mean, it was just so much said that I wasn't even, I didn't even look at it. So that's why I told what was said to me about someone because it, it got so deep that, okay, this person, and then this person is, is, is like in it on the sly, like, you know, going live or getting in, joining the lives and acting like they don't got nothing to do with it, but they're putting their stuff in it. You, a person that ain't got nothing to do with it, they're not going to get in it. They're not supposed to be getting on no live. The only reason why I brought that person in it, because that person put themselves in it the first time when they got on the live. And I still kept it to myself. I even talked to that person on the phone and then tell that person what she said about them. But it's like, you know what? This person think that, you know, that's what made me bring it up, which is, is what it is. People have their opinions or whatever. And I, I don't, I don't really want to keep discussing it. But I don't want people to be trying to make it see like trees. Oh, trees just go in on people. But it, it, I would, I do this. This is me in real life with my own sisters and my brothers. They, they come for me in any type of way to hurt me. I go in on them too. I go in on my own brothers and sisters. They say some very harsh things to hurt my feelings. I would say some very. I, I, I hit. I would. I when you hit when you, when you go high, I go higher. That's me, y'all. If Vicky Jones come out here and say, oh, you, oh, your daughter ugly and your sons, you know, I'm going to go, I'm going to go higher on Vicky. Now, I'm going to talk about whatever, if, you know, if, if I knew Vicky mama passed away, I'm going to say something to hurt Vicky feelings because Vicky hurt me. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all got to understand, it just be like, yo, you hurt my feelings, I want to hurt yours too. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I have to, um. Uh, I have to, I, I, that's my main, I'm like that. It ain't just, it, it, that's with anybody. Once you say something to hurt me, I come back harder. And I will say some things that make you madder because deep down the side, you, it's like, I feel like you're doing this because you want me to swing. So I'm going to say something to make you want to swing because I really do want to swing when they say those things. But I know I'm going to go to jail or either they're going to sue me. So I want them to swing first because I really want to swing at them. So let me come harder with something that I know going to hurt them. That's how I be thinking, y'all. Like, I literally want to fight them. But I know if I hit someone or come where they at, they're going to put me in jail. Or I'm going to go to, you know what I'm saying? Something can happen. So let me go higher to make them come swing first. So when I, I can, I won't go to jail. That's what I be thinking. So y'all got to understand, like, people get tired. Like, leave me alone and selling out. Okay, you want to sell out and say something very mean? I'm going to say something meaner. So it be, it be sad that people got to, we got to go back and forth with it like that. But I, we shouldn't have to when you got people being messy you got to stop listening to these audience, the people in the comments, and then whatever was said, left it, it should have been left alone. Y'all got to understand, I didn't start it, Chef didn't start it. It was started by someone that I fell out of friendship with, and they wouldn't tell it, they wouldn't say it to them about that, which was, that was unnecessary, because they have said stuff about people to me, and I didn't go look for these people and go tell them what they said. Like, I didn't try to say it, because I knew, oh, this is going to get back to them. Y'all got to understand, when y'all fall out with people, stop putting everybody else in it every time. You know what I'm saying? Stop. We don't have to do that. You know, I will do it if I feel, okay, oh, you keep coming. You keep coming. Now I'm going to say something. You know, but other than that, like, it's, it's the, the reason why I told that person that I didn't, I felt like this and that about this person because I felt like what they did, they did, they did it. Up. It was more, it was a lot said within that. Not really a lot. But that was it, like, about the, the not coming and the situation with that. You know, it was petty. It wasn't even something to get mad about. But people get so mad, they want to get everybody else mad at me. And that's what they're doing, and it's sick. I'm, I'm calm down, y'all. I'm definitely calm. I just know people was telling me um, that Chef apologized and that this and that. And Treese, you know, oh, you need a, you need, you're not a bigger person, Treese. You know, just being mean. You're not the big, you're not going to be the big, Treese ain't going to be, 
Um, treat, you just move on. Treat things. I'm a very forgiving person, but I don't forget. You know what I'm saying? I it it, it could have been what I said. What I said on the live, it wasn't that deep. You know what I'm saying? For it to get this to get this damn bad. You know, but it got bad when a person went in on me, and yes, I had to come defend myself. So yes, I'm watching everybody, Tamika. I promise you. You know, I don't. You know, people gotta understand. I want to be at peace, and I don't want to be up here with this back and forth and people trying to tell me that. She even said that people's trying to get with her to collab because they're trying to get numbers. You know, and that's just what I told. That's what me and my friends was talking about behind the scene. I was like, people really. They was trying to get with her to get to get her followers. They they're trying to get numbers, so they they like let's get some started with Trees and Chef to get them to go through it, and then that can help us get our followers up. It's all about followers, you know. And ain't nobody perfect, but y'all gotta understand. Like I don't be want to go there until it get to somebody make me go there. So I you know. I'm, I, I, we could apologize all day long, but it's already out there. You know, we said some very hurtful things, and it's already out there, and it, it never can be. It can never be the same like that because, you know, it should have never got that far. You know, I'm looking at you know, like you know, we can get together and laugh about it, but you know, it'll have to be. Hey, I lied about that. I lied about her saying this. I lied. You know, you got to come to the public and say what you lied about. You know, you know, you she apologized to me, but. It was some things that was lied. I was lied on that need to be. Yeah, I said that out of anger. You know, I was wrong, and you know that's where I feel okay. I can accept that apology all the way fully, but you know, cause people are listening. Like, oh, that was true. Trees really did try to get somebody hurt or killed. Da, 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 da. You know, like that's not right. You don't say nothing like that when all I try to, you know, people, or you know, it, it's just you gotta apologize the right way. I said some very hurtful thing. Yes, I said it. To make out of comedy and to make a person hurt because I was hurt and I was very upset, you know. So that's what happened. You know, you got to get off of here, baby. I don't. We don't have time for you that for that. But that's what y'all got to understand. People be quick to say Tree ain't gonna accept apology. It was some very. It was some some things out there that was that that was said that I didn't go into. I didn't say no. You know, I just told the things I said ain't gonna cause somebody to get hurt. You know, so I, I said things that, that hurt her feelings to make her mad. But I told the truth about everything that I said, that if it was something that was said from her, it wasn't no lie. So I'm not going to get on and say I lied about that because I didn't. But it's not serious. So I don't want Darius to be mad at her. Y'all still be cool, you know. That was her opinion, however. And it is what it is. You know, maybe, you know, even if she was joking or playing, I don't know. But... You know, I don't expect them to be mad at each other. You know, be friends, stay friends. He's not my friend. You know, I don't know him like that. You know, and I don't have to know him and don't want to get to know him, you know, after what I've heard today. Like, okay, your loyalty is with that, with Chef. That's where your loyalty needs to stay at. And I'm going to stay out your way. And when people come and try to say anything bad about him, I don't have to defend him because he's not my friend and that ain't what my loyalty is. So from here on out, I'm definitely, you know, she introduced me to him. I didn't have to. I never wanted to be cool with him because I didn't know him. But I, 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 you know, she was just telling me good things about him, so I was willing to be cool with him. But I don't want to be cool with him because what? Once I heard what he said, my loyalty is with you. Well, your loyalty need to stay over there because you' supposed to stay out of it. Period. You know what I'm saying? All that that my loyalty is with you, and I don't, you know, and I'm up here defending him behind the scene when people talking about him in my inbox. Well, baby, I'm, I'm 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 giving you loyalty, and you up and let me know your you ain't got no loyalty for me. You know what I'm saying at all. So, I'm I'm definitely not. You know, uh, uh, it's definitely, it's definitely a lot of messy stuff going on. Everybody involved in that stuff on the slide, trying to act like they're not getting in it. You know, it's all about cloud people taking our videos, putting them on their pages. And they just there is, there's a lot of people that that's taking the videos of what being her said. And putting it on their YouTubes and trying to make come up come up off of it, making money off of it, you know what I'm saying? And it's sad. Like I don't do people like that. I don't take people videos. I would never do that. I don't do that to people. Okay, it's wrong. I'm not gonna take 
Teresa Johnson's video if hun hun Reba going through it and I'm gonna put it together and try to make money off of it neither I'm not gonna do that and that's what a lot of them people on YouTube is doing like you know there's one the only one it's a lot of them that need to be people need to go after them. you know so it's definitely I'm, I mean I accept apology I'm sorry too just as well and 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 you know, but I'm definitely, you know, it's out there. We said what we had to say, and there ain't nothing we could do about that. Get your ass off my page, my just rest damn. Get off of here. Bye. You know, get off of here. I'm talk I was gonna talk about it anyway, so I'm talking about it now because when I get get done for rest, I ain't talking about it. Treat these demons to desperate stuff for money and clout. They are the followers they fight for my girl. Hey, T, I'm an, uh, another fan of you, and I love you for who you are. Keep moving, love you. Thank you, love you too, baby. Love you too. And she got top fan. You know you damn well you're a top hater. Get off my page. I blocked your ass. Look like you got high blood pressure standing on that damn beach up here worried about me. Get off my damn page. You guys, this is social media. Loyalty should be with your family and loved ones. Just social media. Hell yeah, it should be with just your family and the people that you've been your day ones. And that's what my loyalty stand at from here on out with the ones that love me and that have my back. I ain't finna have nobody else back no more. I'm staying out of people's business. People come out in my inbox talking about somebody. I ain't finna argue for them. I'ma just keep it moving. I ain't even finna respond to them. Yo, know, girl, you need to stop watching. You need to da 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 da. I ain't girl. That person ain't right. Stay. I ain't got nothing to say about it. I'm staying out of it. I don't care. That's why you know I'm finna unfollow a lot of these creators. They stay their way. I stay my way. I don't need that fake phony mess. I don't want it around me. Okay, I ain't trying to earn your loyalty and I don't need your earning mine. Stay where you at. I'm good with the people I got in my circle now. And that's it. But, you know, everything's already, I'm not going to bring you on here because I know you already mad at that person. And I don't want you going is. Yeah, Tiffany was instigating indirectly on the slide. We know. But um, we know that's how that life goes. Believe me, very messy on the slide. But um, it's it's it, you know I'm not no fool. It's a very messy situation. Everybody wanna act like they wanna try to be you know you're not, you're messy you're messy you're messy. So but other than that, Miss Ari, I know you already upset with somebody. So I'm not gonna let you you uh, that day your best day was to come on when I was upset and you would I could have let you go in, but I can't bring you on now because I know you finna talk about her and I don't want you to do that, sister girl. So. I'm just, you know, just letting people know how I feel. The people that's peeping in and was looking at the live today. And that was telling me what was said while I was on YouTube all day. They was like, Therese, you know, she is apologizing to you right now on such and such live. And da, 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 da. So, I just want you to know, you know, I'm going on with my life. You know, and um, it is what it is. I'm staying out the way. And I'm just going to let love on the people that love me. And, and if you have a problem with me, pull me to the side. And if you can't do something for me, let me know ahead of time so I can have other plans. You know what I'm saying? Just keep it real with me. That's all I ask anybody that say they love me and that they're my friend. Keep it real with me because I go, I'm going to have your back and I'm going to be there for you to the end. And I just want that same in return. That's all I ask. Nobody should get mad about that and nobody should feel self like... I'm being selfish or I just want things my way. I want it. I want to be treated how I treat you. And that go for anybody that I love and that love me. And if you, you know what I'm saying? Y'all got to understand that. That's all I ask. We just have to, you know, you're right, treat you. Take care and get well. Hello, I'm glad you both apologize to each other. I like both of you and I pray that you feel better. Take care of yourself. Amen. And that's what people are mad about. They don't want to see people apologize. They don't want to see people, oh, she kissing her back. They don't want to see people being the bigger person. We can be apologizing, going on with our life and be happy. 
and and live our life. And everybody want to be in the, and stop and ignore these people. I'm good at that. You know how many people get on here and say very mean things about people that I don't like, and I don't. I I, I get ready to read the comment, and I and I hurry and stop reading when I see, because I don't want to. I don't want to give them no clout. I don't want to do that. You know what I'm saying? So. I, I avoid saying the names and everything much as I could. You know, people looking at, girl, you need to lay down. I'm not damn near dead. I'm up here good. I'm good. I got checked out. You know, these people just taking care of me. I'm getting my rest. I'm going to get me some sleep. And I ain't going to be able to sleep, y'all, because I got to keep getting up peeing. They got these damn IVs running all through my body. So I'm not going to really get no rest while I'm in here with all this going on. I ain't probably going to be able to get no rest until I get home. And that's when I'm better get the rest that I need. My husband is very sick, but I am back. Deborah Woods, we praying for you, queen. We got you, sister. Keep your head up. Thank you. Hey, you bet, Miss. You bet. You know. But, um, yeah. I just have to get my point across because I know people look at me different and try to make a point of picture of me. I don't have time for that. I'm not, I'm just the person that if you say something to me, I've always been like that, y'all. Like, since a little girl, I have always been that way. If you say something mean to me, I come back harder. I will say some very evil stuff out of the fact that I want to fight you because you said what you said to me to hurt my feelings. So now I want to hurt your feelings because I want you to try to fight me so I can fight you. You know what I'm saying? That's how I be thinking. Because I be so angry and I be wanting to really put hands on people. And I know that I'm not going to put hands on people because I'm not going to jail. So y'all got to understand that has been me all my life. I have been like that. I will say some mean to you to get you out. I, I want to get you. When you come for me, I'm coming back harder. And I know I have to change that about myself. But I'm working on me. Okay? I'm working on me. I just need to pray. Y'all got to pray for me. But it ain't easy. And if you anything like me, you know where I'm coming from. If you the type of people say some mean to you, you got to come back harder. You know. Okay, so that's why I just have to pray about it and work on changing myself and bettering myself and keeping myself away from people that bring that out of me. That's what I have to do. I have to keep myself away from people that brings that I allow to bring that out of me because that means they're not they're not that energy of them. It's, it's not good. I want people that's going to bring the best out of me, not the worst. Okay, so that's what I need in my life. You know, y'all pray for me. Stop judging people. And just understand that this is nothing new. I am the same old trees I've always been. And I'm working on changing who I am. Okay? But it's not easy in this industry that we're in. Because I have been attacked for so long from so many people. And and I'm, at times I just get tired of it. And I just go in. But I'm definitely working on me. And I have gotten better. Because I don't cuss like I used to. I am switching it up with better words. But it's still mean stuff, but I'm just trying to change my ways. Yeah, you don't get no rest in no hospital, not with no IV, because they got to keep coming in. She got to keep giving me this medicine and stuff and to be safe and all that, that y'all. So I'm just really just chilling right now and finna get off here and watch TV and finna get up and pee again. You know, I'm not a Taurus. I'm a Virgo. Stay away from negativity. That's all I want to do. I just want to be blessed, happy, and I'm not trying to rush into nothing to make myself happy. I don't want to rush into nothing because I don't want to be, I don't want to get into a predicament where I'm not happy. So I'm definitely not rushing into being in love or anything like that, you know, to prove a point to anybody in this world. Oh, she, she can't get a man or this and that, or she need a man. No. I don't want to rush into nothing. I want to when I I want to be happy when I get into a relationship. The next relationship I get in, I want this to be the one, and I want to be happy. So I'm not rushing it. So I'm focusing on my career and focused on getting this money because a man is not what it is for me right now, y'all. I don't even have like I don't got rid of like all the dating dating sites, but one. I got one, and it's a new one, and they lied and said it was for rich men, and all of them on that broke. So I'm gonna delete that one day too. Cause I, I, it was, it's a black owned dating site and it was like, yeah, you go by your income. And I went by, I listened to them and they do not. It's, it's, it's a bull crap. So I'm definitely, um, yeah, she brought the mess to my legs. I got to rub it off some lotion right here. I hope it worked. But, um, 
Happy birthday, Mary Collins. She said, give me a shout out. My birthday was August 12th. Because some people are not happy unless they are in the mix of star drama. Yeah, they attack you to try and disrupt your peace. Peach, you're fishing to find what made you. Thank you, Becky. What happened to make you go to the hospital? Feeling tired and drained and just feeling nausea. That's it. But I'm I'm feeling they giving me stuff like this, so they got me. I'm finna go pee pee again, y'all. They got me on this IV. They checking to make sure I don't have any bacteria, no infection, or something like that. They just checking to make sure I'm good because I told them I was nausea. They say usually when you got a bacteria inside of you, they you be nausea or whatever. But I don't know how that. So I love you, yeah. My birthday coming up, September seventh. So I'm ready to hang out. But I'm gonna get off of here. I've been on here a little minute, y'all. I love y'all. Y'all know I had to come do my little, make my little paper. You know what I'm saying? It's my job. So I pray for everybody. It's you know, every hopefully everything work out. And I just want to stick to get back to me and just enjoy myself with all of y'all that enjoy me and love me. God bless y'all. Have a good night. And I keep me in your prayers, the good ones. And I'll keep you in mind as well. Thank you all for the love and support again. You two. Dang, been, D, I've been missing. I'm itchy, y'all. Love you, trees. Um. Passing my aunt went in the hospital today. She's on the ventilator. Damn, you going through it, Jacqueline. Well, I'm finna pray for you all. I love y'all, Queen. Let me get out this phone and check in and see my cousin Pit or Rennie. I love you all and I y'all be blessed. And I and thank you, Tamika McKinn. Good night to everyone. And y'all pray before you lay. And just, you know, thank y'all for just showing me all the love y'all do show me. Um, I keep y'all posted tomorrow on what they say is going on. And uh, I'm finna lay down, Miss Linda Johnson, but I'm finna have to get back up to pee, girl. I'm telling you, I've been getting up every hour to pee, so I don't think I'm gonna be able to rest like y'all want me to. I won't be able to rest till I get out of this hospital because they're gonna have me up all night long. So y'all be blessed and thank y'all for the love and support, okay? And we praying for you, Jacqueline. Keep your head up, sis. We tired of hearing you going through it. We ready for God to, to come through and show up and show out in your life, honey, because we don't want it. This devil has been busy. And we need that, you know, and it could be God trying to just do his job. So we got to sit back and just allow, you know, nature to take its course. I love you all. Pray before you lay. And, you know, don't don't allow things to keep you down. And, you know, don't let it stress you out. Just pray and take care of yourself. So talk to y'all tomorrow. Let me call and check on my baby.